Oh, uh, is this working? <laughs> Whatever, it's working. Okay. Uh, all right. Time to play some Hard Space Shipbreaker. Yes, uh, I'm still here. I'm uh, not dead. <laughs> and I think I've uh, gotten over my uh, my little sore, th sore throat uh, tonsillitis. No more pain there. So anyways, playing some Hard Space Shipbreaker. Had a couple of updates while I was gone. Uh, sick. Uh, they added a new... Uh, difficulty level. These are difficulty levels, by the way. Didn't realize that, but uh, this one's open shift. So you have unlimited lives, and uh, there's no timer and oxygen drain for a more more relaxed experience. I've been playing on Novice, and I don't, man, I don't even want to try these ones. We have 30 lives for this one, and no lives for this one. No revival. Okay. That's, uh, yeah, let's not do those. I'm going to try out the uh, new difficulty here. Open shift. <clears throat> oh, is it going to start me with a new save? Oh. Okay, well, let's just skip to this. Can I skip? I think I skipped it. All right, so I think the update probably fixed a lot of these um, issues that uh, most people have been having with the game. So let's just uh, go through this. Yep, I'll just put my name here. Okay, I can't use that. Uh, easy. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll put easy there. <clears throat> uh, standard. Um, I'll go with plastic free this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, click through all these. Get training. Yep, all right. I had the problems with that, that, that whole setup last time, but it seems like they fixed it. So that's pretty good. So this is the uh, open difficulty, like I said. So there's no oxygen limits or timers. Uh, let's get to this part right here. Yep, we got that. Okay. Let's just start the shift. <coughs> Um, let's do this. Uh, apparently this, the three days, is not how many days it takes to take a ship apart. It's how many days the ship is on this list. So three days, you have the ship here, and then after three days, it's gone. So you can salvage a ship. Let's uh, do this one. Learn that from watching other people play, and also playing myself. <clears throat> now that you've completed your training, you're only about a billion credits away from paying off your debt to length. I know the thought of making 10,000 credits, let alone a billion, sounds impossible right now. But I can assure you it is within your reach, if you put in the work. You've got the DNA to be a great salvager one day, literally. The report here says your blood work confirmed ideal genetic makeup, physique, intelligence, and psychological profile for the position of shipbreaker. I'm guessing that means Lynx thinks you're less likely to blow yourself up. Let's see if they're on to something. Complete your work order and return here to your hab when you're ready for another ship. And careful with that reactor. One false move and you're a goner. And a whole lot of credits poorer. Good luck, Cutter. We were out. All right, so I just let him talk there for a minute, but uh, since we have unlimited time, <coughs> still a little bit of stuff there, but that's all right. Since we have unlimited uh, amounts of time, I can talk about some of this uh, new stuff that they added. One of the uh, new things was the fact that you can rebind keys, but it's not currently in the game. You have to do it outside with a text file or a, an INI file. So uh, let's say... Um, what did I change? Okay, um, I did change the fact that instead of control to stop yourself, I moved it over to shift. Control now goes down. Space still goes up. Um, what else? What else did I change? Oh, I removed that stupid thing where, like, um, if you press F, right? I'm pressing F right now. If you press F, it would do the uh, this thing. But I took that off because it's kind of dumb, especially when you're trying to pick something up and then you accidentally do this 
right? And the the, uh, the uh, item kind of gets lost, so <clears throat> I remove that. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Or I changed that. I didn't remove it. I changed it. Sorry. Uh, what else? I also found out that uh, if you're moving, if you're floating and moving, if you press Q and E, which is the rotate from side to side, I forgot what that's called. If you press them both at the same time, you stop. So that's pretty useful to know. That was in the uh, the INI file, the configure c configuration. Uh, what else? Uh, I moved. I think X was the original binding for the right hand, but I moved it to C, and I got rid of X so I can put something else there later on. So I have Z for left, C for right. I can do some <laughs> do some sumo moves. All right, uh, and then what else? I wanted to move T. Uh, I wanted to move, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the scanner, which is on T, to tab, but I remembered that tab is, or I saw that tab is the work order, so I'm going to keep T as the scanner, and I will keep tab. Well, I don't know, maybe I might move uh, the scanner to tab and then the work order to T, but, uh, I'll do that later. <clears throat> Airlock pressure levels increasing. But yeah, you know, so the game for me at least plays better now that we don't have, uh, all these, uh, weird key binds. Airlock pressure levels dropping. See how I picked up that key without, uh, accidentally doing this? Yeah, that's nice. I like that. All right, so, um, yeah, let's take the ship apart. Open this thing up. Let me pick this up. There we go. Really easy now that uh, F doesn't do this. Which is, oh no, I wasted a tether. That's all right. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay. I am rushing a bit because I'm so used to um, playing with a timer. But for this one, I'm just going to not play with the timer. And, well, I, I actually want to see how fast I can do this, so... Let's just, uh... Let's get over here and cut these struts. Like so. Okay. Yeah, while I while I was sick, I uh, I was playing the game in free play mode <laughs> just to uh, get around, just to like get used to uh, like ha having to uh, take apart ships. And I think I'm pretty good now. Uh, please. Oh, I just wasted a tether. That's alright, I'll just buy some more tethers. <clears throat> I mean, I didn't want to use them, but, uh... Whatever. <laughs> Might as well use them. Now that I can see the actual, like, number that I have. Because again, before... I couldn't see them. Just uh, do this. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay. Whoops. I just love the fact that I can use shift now to uh, stop myself instead of uh, control, which is not that great in my opinion. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Oops. I missed. Did I miss? Nope. I didn't miss. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's deposit the salvage. Oh, sorry, this uh, into the incinerator because it's garbage. I'll work a lot better now that uh, my controls are pretty good. 
work a lot better and faster. Which is a message to all video game developers out there. When you make a game, <coughs> you have to allow the the player to rebind their controls because it's better when the player can actually play the game their way. Whoops. Oh, uh, no. I went up. <laughs> Grab this. Grab this. All right, I will ignore those for right now. <coughs> and let me grab these light fixtures. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. I think it was, uh, if I remember correctly, it was 15 minutes per, uh, per operation, per, per shift. Right? Let's see if I can uh, do 15 minutes. How many things I can uh, salvage before uh, time should have run out, but uh, since I'm playing in open mode. Oh no! Ah! I forgot about that. <laughs> all right. It's all right. Let's just, uh, oh, actually, I want to grab this, <clears throat> throw that down there, and then for these panels, I'm just going to lift them up a little bit. I have three tethers left. Come on. There we go. Uh, nope, that's not going to go there. We'll just do this way. Okay, and I should buy some more tethers. I don't want to do that. <clears throat> it's it is so much better when you can actually rebind your controls and uh, having shift as the um, you know to stop your momentum is is really great. You know, I just find I, I just work a lot easier when I'm uh when when that that control is like that for me. All right, so I need to get into and get the power cell. We have five minutes left, or four minutes. Let's, uh, cut away the cockpit here. Alright, let's push this baby uh, uh, out. There we go. Slowly and surely it is moving. <clears throat> Need to uh, just a little bit more. Okay, I think that's good enough. Yep, we got an uh, uh, we got an opening here. That's good enough. Okay, where is that power cell? Need to find it. And one of these areas, I think it's over here. Yes, there it is. Let's uh, let's 
cut this uh, panel here. Grab this. Because I am going to... Uh, I'm going to throw this thing all the way over there. There we go. All right. For some extra points, I'm going to rip out these light fixtures as well. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Oh, nope. I wanted the, uh, light. Give me that light. Oh, no. Damaged it. Oops, where did it go? There was one more light. <laughs> oh, there it is. I was like, I lost the light somehow. Now we'll pull out this uh, power cell. And then we'll just throw this into the barge there. <clears throat> and pretty much, there's the work order done. But since we've got a limited time, let's uh, keep going and uh, take this ship out. Uh, sorry, take it out. I mean, uh, salvage this ship fully. Okay, I think that should be good. Uh, all right, hold on just a second. Rip this out. There it goes. Now we've got some coolant over here. This will go out. Valuable object processed. Boom, there we go. <clears throat> this, oh yeah, this is the uh, airlock, which I still haven't figured out a good way to uh, to take out of the ship. Oh. Okay. This fuel tank uh, configuration, I really haven't seen much before. Probably because it's uh, an easy, easy ship. Hold on just a second. I think this thing is good. Uh, I still probably need to get rid of that fuel tank. But it is connected, so... It might leak fuel. I don't know. Oh, well, actually, hold on. Don't I have a key? Let me see if I can... Uh, let me see if I can vent this uh, fuel out. Just ripping the fuel tank out would be a very bad idea. Uh, nope, I don't think I can do that. Well, you know what? I guess I will just, uh, I'll just do it. I'll just rip it out. It's like a band-aid, you know? You just gotta, you gotta pull it off. It's a bad idea, but, uh, it must be done. Okay, okay, uh, that's good, that's good. And let me just push this... Am I still connected? Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. I think I know what's going on. <clears throat> These are external uh, nacelles that I need to remove first. Okay, that's one. That's two. Okay, this one is still stuck for some reason. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. I'm pretty sure there is no other uh, no other attachment here. I can't, uh, nope, I can't do that. 
That is strange. Hold on just a second. Huh. This is still attached in some way. I think it might be due to the... Uh... No, I don't think so. Hmm. Hold on just a second. <clears throat> I might be missing something here. Let me, uh, let me check out what's going on here. Oh no, it seems to be, uh, seems to be loose. Look at that. Huh. Yeah, see, it seems to be loose. It just, it's stuck on something. I don't quite understand what's going on there. Okay, you know what? Let's just use a tether. Let's see if this will work. Wait, hold on. This goes to the processor, right? Caution. Tether supplies running low. Ah, there we go. Just takes a lot more force. Alright. Kind of wasted that pipe, though. All right, well, this goes to the barge. And then uh, we got a light here. And then a pipe that goes to the furnace. Again, the airlock, I really haven't found a way to, to properly remove it. Uh, sort of like just mangling it with the, uh, the wide beam. <clears throat> But uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll cross that bridge eventually. I'll just not focus on that right now and try to get the rest of the ship uh, broken. I also feel like uh, the recent updates kind of improved performance for me because I'm not getting as much, uh, much slowdown as usual. But again, this is a smaller ship, so maybe... Uh, Maybe the bigger ships will cause a lot of slowdown. But it's it right now it's at a steady 60 frames, so. <clears throat> Pretty good so far. I'm not complaining. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay. Let's get the rest of these panels off. I need the laser. The cutter. Stinger, that's what it's called. <laughs> I just looked over there, it's a stinger. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, let's uh, grab these uh, lights first before I uh, do my thing here. And then this fuel tank. Oh man, my uh, tool is just too weak. It doesn't work. Okay, well, we are going to use the tethers then. Hopefully nothing gets jostled. Okay. This can go into the barge. Tether this. Whoops, no! Oh yeah, I forgot about these, uh, these, uh, the cells. Okay, well, you know what? Come on. No, I want to. There we go. All right, for these in the cells, I'm just going to try to push them with the, uh, the grapple tool. And then hopefully there'll be enough for this one at least. 
Oops. Get out of here. Go back home. I have two tethers left. I am going to tether this one. Down there. Please, go all the way. Oh, no. And then this one. Wait, hold on. Uh, this nacelle is not... I gotta go down here and push this uh, just a little bit more inside of the uh, barge. The barge. Get in there. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, and this one is a... Let's see, this is a processor, so... Take you and Warning. that. No tethers remaining. Out of tethers. And I uh, whoosh. <laughs> there we go. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Just slam dunk that fuel tank into the barge. Alright. That should be most of the uh most of the stuff. I need to get some tethers. Let me get some tethers back here. Let me, uh, turn myself, my, let me, uh, write myself here. One, whoop. Twenty-three minutes, uh, not bad. Not bad. That would be my second day, my second shift, sorry. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Have a nice day. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Ah. Thank you for your purchase. Oh my goodness, I didn't mean to buy that. Oh, you can buy keys, okay. That's pretty cool. Don't know how you exit this. Thank you for your purchase. Okay, that's not good, I just... <laughs> I added uh, to my debt there. I think I need to figure out how to uh, escape that menu. But, uh, yeah, I didn't know you could buy a key there. Huh. Because I've been, uh, like I said, I've been playing the um, free play mode. And uh, I've, I've been doing the larger ships. And sometimes you need a key to, uh, to uh, vent the... Whatchamacallit, the uh, fuel, right? And I could never find a key, so I did not know you could buy them. All right, let me just get these uh, supports here, these uh, attachment points, and we can push this slowly. Because I, I say that because I used to, what I used to do was I used to... Um, what I would do is I would remove those uh, those attachment points, and then I would target like uh, what's gonna call it? These things, these like little corner struts. Uh, I find out you don't need to do that. You just need to get the attachment points, and uh, you just need to uh, push the <clears throat> whatever you're trying to detach out. All right, let me just. Uh I don't think you need to do anything for this. This goes to the processor. And then we've got the thruster, which should just come out easily. For this, and then tether. All the way. Alright, that should be the engine compartment. <coughs> And then we need to put this into the processor. This will take a lot of tethers. Because it's so huge. Or one. It could it could take one. I think it'll make it. I think it it's gonna make it, right? 
Yeah, it's okay. It's still got a tether on there. That's good. All right. Now we need to uh, wait. Hold on. This goes to the processor. Oops. I'm just going to force push this. Object accepted for processing. Credit okay, good. I was like, that engine compartment needs to go. <laughs> I need to push it in there? No, just, uh, it just needs to, uh, slowly get there. Alright, we got some lights here. Let me just, uh, rip these off. Okay. Need to do this. All right, what else do we have? Do we have any other lights here? Oh, these lights over here, okay. Okay. All right. This side should be done. I have to do the other side now. Two more. All right, now we're gonna we gotta talk about the airlock because uh, I still don't know how to uh, to fully maximize the profit from the airlock. But I do know that uh, you can take this door off by cutting. Uh, Let's see, I think it was these, uh, these ones right here. Cut that off. All right, we'll just go down here. So it's kind of hidden. Wait, hold on. Am I actually, uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, am I actually affecting that, uh, All right, so that should be good enough to get this door off. Hmm, probably not. Uh, wait, hold on. Should I cut this? Okay, let me just do this one more. And I think, yeah, okay, that's good. We can get this door off. Little panel. This goes into the furnace. Now, this area right here, I have no idea how to get out. I think... I think I can push this. My fuel is low. I should get more fuel. Um, no, I don't think I can push this. Let me just see what I can do here. And then this one. Will this work now? Ah! Come on. No, okay. I think I need to cut maybe a couple more things out of here. Possibly this one. Because this skeleton, this, uh, the skeleton here can all go into the furnace, right? But, uh, this airlock, the, the inside material is furnace, but the outside little shell is a processor. So, you know, I need to figure out how this would work. Let me see if I can, uh, Push this. Yep, okay. It's free. So basically, I can just take this, this uh, skeleton, this framework, and uh, throw it all into the furnace. So let's, uh, let's take some tethers here. Oop. Let's tether into the furnace. Come on. 
Oh, don't tell me I'm just going to waste a tether. Really? I really hate it when that happens. All right, you know what? Oh, no, no, go down. There we go. Okay. Caution. Tether supplies are low. All right, so now it's going to take this uh, whole skeleton. Ooh. Oh, no. Come on. Please. Don't. Okay, just stay like that. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> now this whole skeleton, this whole uh, uh, framework, again, can go into the furnace. I think. I'm trying to remember. From my uh, playthrough in free mode. Should gradually get in there. Now I gotta focus on this. This is the, um... Uh, I have no idea how... Oops, wait a minute. Material deposited. Yeah, I think, yep, yeah, all of it, all of it went in there. That's good. Alright, let me just, uh... Grab this. Like I said, there, I don't, I don't know of any way to uh, remove this furnace material from the processor material here, without having to, pretty much, essentially, like destroy. I think you can probably do this. And there, there is no like, there is no tool later on that you can unlock to, to separate this from. Oh wait, hold on. Now it's working. Okay. No, not not working anymore. I mean, I mean, I guess you can, uh, you can. What should we call it? Like, peel this this way, right? Hold on. I just want to make sure that I am lined up. Let's just move this down like this. Okay, we are good. And this thing is still moving, so this is going to be terrible. It's, yeah, it's, you know, it's... It's very... Yeah, it didn't even go all the way, so... <clears throat> I have no idea, right? I mean, I, I, like... Well, I mean, I know you can just... You can just go... Go crazy and just, like... You know, make... All kinds of different cuts and just, like... Absolutely mangle this section right here. But, uh... I don't want to do that, you know? But, I mean, if... Or you can just, like, throw it into the, um processor. Well, you know, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to throw this into the processor. Let's do one more. And then I'm going to grab some fuel and tethers. But it should... Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Yeah, see? Uh, I, l I lost some money on that uh, aluminum. Which should have gone to the uh, furnace, but whatever. I am not going to even think about that right now. Maybe they might have a tool later on that will uh, effectively. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Fuel levels restored. Okay, I do not know how to oh, get out of this. Backspace? Q? Have a nice day. I think it was Q. Oh, yeah. All right, it's probably Q. Well, whatever. You know, this is uh, easy mode. Doesn't really matter. Let me just get this cockpit here. Let's go around. I think it would be easier to remove these panels. If I remember correctly. You can... Essentially just, uh... Let's see. 
No, I can't do that. Uh, I think... Let me think. I'm trying to think. What, what did I do during my time in free mode? I could... Get these... Oops, I don't want to go too far with that laser. Get that. Then I'll swing around. And then where is the... Oh, there it is. Let's take that. And then we're going to do this. Now, I don't know if that's... Uh, oops, that's not what I want to do. Nope, that's not not quite done yet. There is a little bit more to do. I might have to uh I might have to destroy this. I think that's gone. Yep, that's gone. Okay. Ooh. That should be free. Nope, not quite. One more. Might be this one. Oh, nope, not quite. I still need to... And then this corner right here. Oh, wait, hold on. Um... Maybe it's not moving because I still have uh, stuff on the uh, on the inside the cockpit here. So let's grab this, throw that out. Salvage deposit accepted. Atmosphere regulator. We got that, and then yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, that's why it couldn't uh, it couldn't uh, do its thing. Okay. So let's try to grab this thing. I should have done this first. I don't know why. I thought it'd be easier to uh, remove the panels and then get the stuff out. But now it's going to be really tough. Account credit applied. Okay, I don't exactly know how to get this out again. This needs to come out here. Come on. Ah, oh, it's stuck. I don't know if I can get this out outside the uh, the door here. Ah, oh, come on. Oops. Oh, no, I used up a tether for no reason. I think I can... Oh, there. Nope. I almost had it. Yeah, this is going to be tough now that... Uh... Okay, well, I can do that. That's pretty good. Oh, wait. Nope, I can't. <laughs> I forgot that the uh, the uh, the plating for the uh, the ship is right there. All right, let's just grab this uh, cargo storage bin. Well, maybe I can pull this out from here. There we go. Okay, let's just launch that into the furnace because that is. Oh, furnace material. Now, if I get, like, all the stuff attached, maybe it might, uh... Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right. Where did that uh, thing go? This goes to the furnace. Oop. This also goes... Oh, no, this one goes to the uh, barge. There we go. Alright, this one goes to the furnace as well. Oh, come on. There we go. And then this one... I can finally pull out. Goes to the furnace. Oops. Okay. Good. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. 
All right, let's just get this stuff out of here before we uh, work on the inner panels here. Get these chairs out of the way. Oops. Oh, no. I destroyed that com uh, computer terminal, so... Yeah. Kind of a physics glitch there. Deposit accepted. Okay. Get this one out to the barge. Hopefully this one doesn't uh, freak out on me. Oh, come on. There we go. I think I got that chair in there. And there are people outside. Just ignore that. Don't worry about that. Grab this computer terminal. Okay. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. All right. I already got the top struts here. Let's get the bottom ones. And then one more on this side. I think that should be good. Yep. Okay. Let's pull this out. I'm going to use uh Well, no, I need to I need the tethers. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Go this way. Okay, good. <laughs> that would have been bad. Material deposited. Okay, furnace. This goes to the furnace. Okay. Couple more. I'm gonna use a tether on this one. All right, I think that should be uh, that should be enough. I know the glass needs to go into the furnace, but there is like no real good way to get the glass out without uh, destroying a lot of stuff. Because it is, oh, you know what? I'll just say it. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> to be completely honest, because you'd have to you'd have to cut through you'd have to cut here. And you have to cut vertically on these uh, points, these three points here, right? So vertically here, here, and here, and then another cut here, and then another cut here, here, and here, and it's just too much work, right? Oops, I'm hitting something. So. Since everything else is a processor, I'm just going to stick this into the processor and uh, I'll eat the loss of the um, the glass. There needs to be a tool. Uh, there's probably going to be a tool later on in a later update where you can remove the glass safely. But let's just grab this. Tether supplies running low. Stick all these tethers onto this thing. All the, the tethers. Warning. No tethers remaining. It's empty. Okay. I think I've got everything. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? There's a light. I thought I put you in the barge. You need to get in the barge. There you go. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. All right, I think uh, that's everything. There is nothing left to salvage, so let's go back and end this shift. And I'll pop, I'll probably end the video for right now. But uh, yeah, I mean uh, the new update seems to uh, is pretty cool, you know, especially with the key binding. I find that uh, 
after changing some controls around, I finally got like a, a good grasp on the game. And uh, if the developers keep updating the game and adding new stuff, then uh, this is just going to get even better. Oop. Let's check out our results. Ooh, look at all that money. I destroyed a couple of things like uh, equipment mounts. Uh, oh, yeah, the pipe junction. I forgot to rip that out, huh? On the other side. Uh, structure aluminum door was destroyed. Of course, the glass, yeah. Uh, a lot of this is probably the... Um, especially, I think this one. This is probably the airlock that got destroyed. Again, I, ca I can't really find a good way to get rid of that airlock, but, uh, <coughs> yeah, well, <coughs> you know, that's just, uh, that's the way it goes, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to stick with this shift, uh, for the future stuff because I just want to, uh, well, you know, I, I actually kind of like the, uh, time limit, so I might go back to my old save. But, um, yeah, and, uh, and I have to recertify through all the whole thing again. I think I was rank four. I was rank four, right? Or rank three. I don't remember exactly. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, uh, hard space shipbreakers. Keeps getting updates. Hopefully, they add some more stuff in the future because, uh, it'd be really nice if this game had, uh, m even more content. Let me just get back to the main menu here. But, uh, yeah. So, open shift mode, key bindings, and lots of improvements. So, yep, yeah, that's about it for today. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.